Hey, what's up guys? Kenneth here with the LEGO Republic uh, bringing you another video. Today's video will be checking out this playing cards pack from Star Wars Rebels. Now, this isn't anything that I would call LEGO. Sorry, just grabbing my knife here. Um, this isn't something that I would call LEGO because it's not LEGO, obviously. Um, but it is something Star Wars and it looks kind of cool and interesting. So we're going to open it and see what is inside. My knife, honestly, is probably not going to be any use in this thing. <laughs> so we'll just open it. My hands here. Very nice packaging. I like this. This was a gift from my friend Kevin. So thank you to him for doing this. I really appreciate it. This really made my day. On okay, so here we've laid out the uh, cards that I've gotten so far. Um, I did this on a video, but I got deleted, which is a bit unfortunate, but we're going to do the rest of them. So you can see I've just kind of laid them out here. We got three Jokers, which is really weird. We have the um, these monsters from the Anaxis episode, the uh, Pergil, of course, and then... Um, I think that's a Pergil. What is it? What does it say? Tabisis. I think it looks like a Pergil. I'm saying it's a Pergil. Um, but I don't think they were in, in season one. Th this has to be season one because there's two Inquisitors. When I realized this, and there's actually three Inquisitors because the box showed that that one would be one. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So we, we did the hearts. Now we're on to the, um, the clubs. But you can see everything laid out kind of here. It looks like twos are going to be sh uh, speeders. Threes are going to be ships. Uh, probably fours are going to be ships too. Maybe five too. Let's check it out. Four AT um, DP walker, which, are, which is a, a a decent a decent um, walker. It's not like the, the coolest one ever. Star destroyers, always nice to have. They they go with the ghost. I see. This is why I paired them up because they all seem to go together. Um, this box is like super awesome. By the way, the the box art in the back of the cards. Um, no clue who this dude is. Like, I have zero clue whatsoever. He's probably a senator if he's going in here with Bail Organa. But then this does say Senator Bail, or Bail Organa. And this says not senator. So he's probably not a senator, but who knows. Next up, oh, um, Morag Sumar. This is the this is the farmer dude who, who dies. Spoiler alert. Sorry about that. He dies in a future season. But in season one, he's just the farmer that Ezra saves from the Empire. Super nice guy. <laughs> I enjoyed the episode with him. Um, next up, ooh, the Supply Master uh, Agent List. Oh, this guy, the guy that Callus frames. I, I like this guy. He's kind of funny. Super gullible. Um, good card, good card. Commandant uh, Ar Aresco. Now, I, I know this guy, but I want to know him by name, so it's kind of weird to see a name put to the face, but doesn't this guy die? Pretty sure this guy dies sometime, but he's like the uh, the general at the very uh, beginning, I would say, of all of the episodes. R two D two C three PO, pretty basic card, but um, like C three PO and R two D two, and like everything. Um, Ezra. Okay, so we have another Jack of Ezra. So these are all probably gonna be. Um, the Jacks, Queens, and Kings are probably all just going to be um, Ezra, Sabine, and Zeb. Which is kind of unfortunate because where is Hera and um, Kanan? Where are those two? Star-crossed lover. Oh. Wow. Well, okay. I'm not very good at guessing these cards, I guess. Let me guess. This is going to be Kanan. Yep, okay. All right, all right. I get that. That's good. All right, I'm happy about that. Ezra's just so cool, he gets his own card twice. And probably more than that, honestly. But, King. Wait a minute. So we just had three kings in a row. We're just jumping to diamonds here. We're just, we're just jumping to diamonds. Alright, we're jumping to diamonds, I guess. This is a Sabine. Another Sabine, so I'll um, do that right there. Another Ezra. This Ezra is not a Jedi Ezra. This is just the Ezra when he was trying to infiltrate that place. I'll put that right there. Actually, we'll just start stacking them because I don't have room to not stack them. 
Chopper, good old card here. We have the Ezra and Chopper, and then we have just Chopper. Um, ooh, Vizago. Very nice card, very nice card. I liked his character, I thought it was fun. Um, he goes in here with a Stormtrooper and the uh, the face of the general guy that I don't even remember very well. ATDP Pilot. This is a nice uh, addition to the Imperial Collection here in the middle with the TIE Fighter Pilot, Stormtrooper, and of course the uh, two Imperial dudes. Oh, I forget how to pronounce this. This is the, this is the dude who helps, who helps Ezra, and he has like the computer in the back of the brain like a lobot. Oh, what's his name? I totally forgot his, how do you say it? It's, it's like, it's like a really weird pronunciation, which is why I'm really confused. But he'll go in there too. Oh, this is the baby Wookiee. We never actually get a name for this Wookiee, but um, Kit War is the name that's on the card, so I guess we'll go with it. The Phantom, very nice card. We need the Phantom, it goes with our ghost here. But um, yeah, we'll just put it right there with the ghost. Fighting off the Star Destroyers. The um, Croc Carrier Ships, or Sea Rock or something. Not sure, I think these are Visago ships, but don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure. Um, Low Fall Cruise Speeder, this is uh, the Farmer Speeder, obviously. Pretty nice card. I honestly think the Imperial Freighters are a whole lot better than those, but. Um, Kanan speeder bike, very nice card, very nice card. I assume we're gonna get um, Zeb speeder bike or something as uh, the next one. And another Inquisitor. So all four aces are this Inquisitor. Wow, that's like kinda scary. Why are they so into the Inquisitor? He's dead, he's long gone. Kanan, King, he's King. So there's another Kanan, I'm guessing this is another Hera. Yep, another Hera. Um, all of these are different. Um, another Ezra, not surprised at this point. I feel like they could have done a whole lot more with this, but it's not the worst thing. Ooh, IGRM, uh, droids. These are like the, uh, the, the bodyguard droids. Super hard, so that, like, people who are in a fight with them with, like, fists, they'll always lose because they're super hard to beat because they're made of metal. Um... Agent Callus, this guy's so underrated. Why is he number nine? He should be higher in my opinion. He's so much better. Like, look at this, look at this. He's in here with this guy. How How is he equal to this guy? There's no way, there's no way. Agent Callus is amazing. All right. And now Taskmaster Miles Grint. This is the guy that goes with uh, this guy right here. Honestly, if I was doing this, I would put these two as eights and um, bring up Lieutenant List to this spot, but that would just be me. Um, oh, Minister uh, Tua. This confirms that it's from season one because Minister Tua is dead. Well, not dead. That's season two. Never mind. But she's not that big of a character. Only in season one, so I'm pretty sure, like 100% sure that this is only from season one because I haven't seen a character from season two yet. Yeah, this is the pilot droid from the same episode uh, with Minister Tua. Good card, good card. The Inquisitor's Tie Advanced, which I actually have a YouTube video on, so if you want to go check that out, it'd be a pretty nice thing to do. Um, that'll go there. A regular TIE Fighter. This is different from the Inquisitor's Tie Fighter. You can see they're just totally different. Totally different. Okay, this one's curved, I get it, but like they're the exact same thing. Alrighty, three more cards here. We have the Star Command uh Star Commuter Shuttle. So it's driven by this droid that we got earlier, and it's in the episode with Minister Tua. So there's the connection for you all if you didn't uh get that. And then Imperial Speeder Bike. Oh, I really thought this would be Zeb Speeder Bike. I was like 100% sure it would be Zeb Speeder Bike. Well, I guess I guess it's just an Imperial Speeder Bike. Let me guess, it's an Inquisitor. We know it's an Inquisitor because we saw it on the box, on the back of the box. Yes, it's an Inquisitor. Wow, that looks good. But like, why do we need four? Four Inquisitors. Let, let me just, uh, let me just uh, uh, grab all four for you. Because, you know, 
We need a close-up of his face. We need, you know, a portrait of him facing towards the back and towards the front and when he's angry. So yeah, yeah, four. So we'll just go through all the numbers. We've got these um, very fancy speeder bikes right there. The chips, I'm not a fan of these two, but uh, these two are pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Our fours are the um, other ships, so nothing crazy. Three of them are flying ships, and only one of them is um, a land vehicle. These ones, the fives are nice, so we have the Ghost and the Phantom, which is a really nice pair to have. Happy about that. And then I guess it makes sense uh, for the TIE Advanced and Star Destroyers to be there, because they're there to uh, counteract the Ghost and Phantom. That's pretty nice. Six is just, honestly, six to me is just like a throwaway card. Like, I don't care too much about these people. Um, I, I assume you probably don't either, which is sad. Sorry, no offense to the characters, but that's just kind of how I'm working. These guys too, uh, I mean, they're, they're slightly better. Like, I can clearly recognize, remember these guys. Um, but still nothing crazy. Um, these guys, like I said, I would put Lieutenant List at, at number nine and drop the, um, the commander dude down to number eight but you know still some nice imperial cards we've got a lot of nice imperial dudes in this uh middle range section so here yeah i would drop this guy down so i had a lot more stuff but my phone deleted